Sometimes all your training, all your preparation comes down to one moment when you are face to face with danger. Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. I have here a training rifle and training bayonet from the Deutsche Demokratische Republik National Volks Army or East German Army. There's not a lot of documentation on these from the research I have done, and looking at online listings, most seem to say East German or Eastern Bloc, but the more detailed ones all say DDR NVA. And the only actual evidence I have found of these in use is by East Germany. It also came with an East German style sling, which could have been added by someone along the way, but it also points to East Germany as the origin. They are obviously made to mimic the AK-47 with the painted black magazine, even though some sources suggest that maybe this was added on and that was originally meant for SKS training. And putting them all side by side, it really is closer to an SKS in length rather than an AK when the bayonets are attached. Even moving the AK forward so the magazine placement is the same as this training rifle, the AK is still shorter than the SKS and this training rifle. I should also note that the East German SKS model carabiner S started production after their AK-47 variant. So this being designed as an SKS training rifle for East Germany doesn't really make a lot of sense. I guess it's possible this model could have began its life intending to mimic the SKS somewhere else in the Warsaw Pact territory, but I have yet to see anything actually prove that. So I would just consider it speculation at this point. And also comparing the weights, it falls in between an SKS and an AK when unloaded. The training rifle is pretty simple construction. A round bar with a bead on top which fixes the bayonet in place, which is attached to a one piece wooden stock with an internally inserted piece of metal in this middle area adding weight to it to get closer to mimicking the weight and balance of a real firearm. It's very simple, no trigger, no trigger guard, or anything else that may be broken off easily when going through an obstacle course. And let's be honest here, the bayonet, quote unquote, is the real star of the show. It attaches kind of like a socket bayonet. There is an L-shaped track inside the handle of this practice bayonet where you slide it on and then twist into place. The bayonet has a spring-loaded plunger with a rubber tip, letting you get positive contact when stabbing someone in training. As you will see, it can also be used as a training knife when removed from the rifle. I have found footage of these being used in training, though it's filmed as if it's a movie almost teaching trainers how to train or propaganda rather than capturing straight training exercises. But I do think this is a legitimate East German produced film for their military being listed as a training video at the beginning. It depicts soldiers carrying just the rifle portion while going through an obstacle course. Using the bayonet as a training knife to simulate knife fighting with fellow soldiers. And finally, training with the bayonet attached to the rifle to simulate combat with fixed bayonets. All in all, a few variations of these exist. My example has no markings on it whatsoever but some will say model 4,853 on the top of the fake barrel. The model is in German with two L's. Other examples have different sling attachment points instead of just holes being cut through like mine. 
Some will have an actual metal butt plate. And some of the bayonet handles are brown rubber with finer grooves compared to the black handled variety shown here. Mine has a little bit of surface rust. The bayonet is really tight getting on and off. And the rubber tip can leave some black marks on things when it stabs, which I know having left a few around here or there already. Stabby, stabby. And there are similar markings on this stock, which may have happened during training or just while being moved around in storage. I don't have any numbers on how many of these were produced or how long it was used, but they are currently available for sale a few places online if you look. While not as cool as a real firearm or actual bayonet, I think these are pretty interesting pieces of military surplus from the Cold War era. After all, how many of your bayonets can you actually use to ambush someone without involving the authorities? Not many. That's all I have for today. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video if you found it at all of interest. If you have one of these or purchase one, let me know the condition of yours or if it's one of the variations I mentioned or even one I'm not aware of. Like I said, there's not a lot of knowledge on these out there, so any new information will be helpful. Thanks for watching.